So what I'm going to do in this video is create a servant for you, but I'm going to do something unusual here in that I'm going to replicate an existing function within Betangel. It will all make sense in a second when you understand what I'm, I'm going to do. But it's a great example of how you can create a feature out of a keystroke, basically. And what I'm going to do is if you go to the one-click screen here, you can see that we have a thing called the Make Market button on the right-hand side. And what this does is really simple. If you go to the Betfair uh, website, what you'll see is you can back at 9, lay at 9.2, back at 13, lay at 14, back at 21, lay at 22, back at 195, lay at 196. You, you get the idea. Now, um, on BetEngine, of course, you can flip that round so that you lay at the current back price, back at the current lay price. And that's what the Make Market button does. It does that with just one click. So if I click, uh, for example, here on Born to Please, it will back at 22 and lay at 21. Boom, there you go. So you can see it's back to 23, laid at 22. And if both of those positions get matched, then basically uh, we will uh, make the difference in the spread between the two. Now, if we go to um, the ladder screen, what you'll notice is that there is no such thing um, as a make market button on the screen. You can see the orders have just been matched over here um, on that particular selection. So we just made it a small amount of money on that. Um, but you can see there is no make market button on here. So let's create one because when you're using a servant, you just need one click to call the servant and activate it on the market. So we could actually create our own make market servant effectively. So let's do that. We'll go up to the servant manager. Uh, we'll go to uh, rules and we will create a new rules file. If I pull this over here, you'll see how this is going to work. First of all we'll name it so I will prefix this with servant so we know what rules file it is and I will call this make market. Servant make market. And what we have to do then is create the rules that tell the servant exactly what it, you want it to do. So we will say here place a back bet. The rule type will be place a back bet. We're going to make it always armed because when you're using a servant you just basically say that one, uh, this one, that one. So you want the servant to be actively looking at what you're doing so that's why we've got it always armed and we're only going to get it to trigger once because once the servant has run we can run it again and again and again. Um, you could do other clever things with that, we're not going to do that on this example here. What parameters are we going to use? We're going to say place um, a bet below the current reverse price. We're going to say uh, just place the re place it at the reverse price. That's effectively what we're going to say. We're going to say do that for £2, which is the same as what you've just seen us do. Now, we could apply global settings to it if you wanted to. You could apply a whole range of conditions. There are loads of conditions available and you could incorporate signals to it, but we're not going to do that. We're going to keep things really simple. We're just going to say place a back bet um, at the reverse price uh, for, the, for a fixed amount. And then we apply that and that appears within the container up here. Uh, now to edit this really quickly what I'm going to do is just hit this button here and that's basically going to replicate the rule but of course we now need it to place a lay bet because we want to place a back bet and a lay bet in the market and those uh, parameters will remain the same because it's basically the same we've just flipped it uh, in the other direction. That may have been a bit fast for you I'm sorry if, if that was fast for you but basically what I did was I copied the back bet rule and then just changed it to a lay bet instead. That's basically what I did there. So we're backing at the current lay price, we're laying at the current back price, and you can see here it says custom ticks below the best reverse market price. So that is the make market servant. That's how easy it is to create one. And then what you need to do here is assign it to one of the shortcut keys. So I'm going to assign it to, uh, let's type in servant Hold on a second here, and we want servant make market. There you go. You can see I've got lots of rules files uh, within this. You probably won't have half as many of those when you first do this. So we're basically saying on the shortcut, um, control and left click will invoke the make market servant. So let's close that down, and you can see we're over 10 minutes away from the start here. But if I want to do a make market, uh, say on this runner, if I hold down control and click. Bingo, there you go. Can you see we've actually now created a make market button on the ladder despite the fact that one does not exist. So you can see up here 
this basically says zero active, zero pending, uh, one stopped. And you can see that it, the, the, it's turned red to indicate that um, that is what's happened, that something has been activated and has now stopped, because all we asked it to do was to place two positions in the market. So you can see that that was active on this run, and you can see that it's not been active on anything else. If we go to the one-click screen, you can see the runner that it was active on. So if I wanted to do it on the one-click screen, I could click the Make Market button now, or if I wanted to, I could just invoke a servant. And I do that by holding down the control key, hovering somewhere over here. It could be anywhere on this particular line. And there you go. You saw it briefly flash green as it activated and then put the positions in the market. And it's turned red now because it's done what you told it to. So let's go and do it on another runner. Let's do it uh, on here. There you go. And then we can do another one. No, I'm not going to do it on the favorite. No, I'm not going to play ball with the favorite. But can you see how we could be on any one of these screens and um, invoke the servant? So let's do it on the ladder, but on the second runner. There you go. So the great thing about this is we've replicated a function that's available within BetAngel, but we have uh, put it on a, an area that it doesn't exist. So we now have a Make Market button on the ladder. Despite the fact that one doesn't exist, we've just invoked it from a servant. If we look up here at the Servant Manager, you can see that uh, it's done it four times. If we look in the Activity tab, you can see the runners that we did it on and uh, when it was done and so on and so forth. You can look at that from any particular level that you wish. Uh, but it's that easy. You can see within just a few minutes of starting this video, I've replicated the Make Market button, put it on to Control and left click, um, and then use that to do a Make Market bu button on the ladder where there is no such feature. Um, so yeah, it's that simple. And this is a really simple example of it. Now you want to do more complicated things than this really, I suggest and you probably want to add in extra features, parameters, conditions and so on. Uh, but essentially it's that simple to create a servant.